One thing that will be explored in Star Wars Episode 9 is a lot of the burning questions in The Force Awakens will be answered in this movie by J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing about Episode 9 is not only are they using this film as a way of combining all nine films into one movie, but they're also going to be delivering a lot of twists and turns, surprising moments for this film to the audiences seeing this film in late 2019. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, one of the biggest questions of all is exactly how did Maz Kanata find the Skywalker lightsaber in The Force Awakens? As Maz Kanata told Han Solo and crew, you know, a better question for another time. Take it, find your friend. Now, these past couple of weeks, we've been going over episode 9, and one of the descriptions goes over Kylo Ren and what appears to be the Knights of Ren in the rain on an unknown world. There appears to be dead bodies everywhere. The next goes over Kylo Ren and his group fighting a clan of some kind. One of the clan members is holding a lightsaber hilt that is Anakin and Luke's, the famous Skywalker lightsaber. The clan member ignites it and is immediately killed by Kylo Ren. The next goes over the body of the member falling down to the ground and dropping the lightsaber as it rolls down a hill, eventually landing into the hands of a small creature in hiding. It is Maz Kanata. Kylo and the knights begin to chase her as Maz gets away by boarding one of the clan's ships and taking off and leaving the planet. It's implied that Maz and the clan have been protecting this relic for a very long time and must protect it at all costs. So what's really interesting about all of this is that this is obviously a flashback sequence and an extension of what we saw in The Force Awakens. Now not only that, this is a very similar thing that was going to be put in the original cut of The Force Awakens. Now I don't know if you guys heard about this, but in the past there was this original idea for The Force Awakens about telling us in Rey's vision exactly how Maz Kanata got hold of the Skywalker lightsaber, and it seems like this is an older concept from Episode 7 that will be making its appearance in Episode 9 as long as it makes the final cut of the movie. Now, does this actually tell us the full story of Luke's, you know, lightsaber and exactly how it got into the hands of Maz Kanata? Well, it seems like it's a kind of like a half way of telling all of it, right? We still don't know exactly how it got off of Bespin, right? Off of Cloud City. How did it really leave that whole entire spot? How did it get away from Cloud City? Now that's a huge mystery. But this also lines directly up with why Kylo Ren told Finn in The Force Awakens, you know, that lightsaber, it belongs to me. You know, Kylo Ren has seen this lightsaber before. He has been trying to hunt it down for ages, and he was so close to getting it, apparently, and that actually fell into the hands of Maz Kanata. So if you guys look back at The Force Awakens, that's exactly why he tells Finn that. That lightsaber, it belongs to me. Everything really seems to be fitting together into one big puzzle now. Not to mention, also, in The Force Awakens flashback, if you do listen very carefully, Besides the ignition sound of Kylo Ren's lightsaber, or just the sound of his lightsaber, you do hear another lightsaber in the background that is not Kylo Ren's. The ignition of a Skywalker lightsaber itself. Though it sounds a little bit different than the traditional ignition, it is still definitely implied to be a light side lightsaber. So with that being said, you know, to me this is a great twist, this is a great way of explaining exactly how Maz Kanata got her hands on the Skywalker lightsaber. Supposedly she was associated with this clan, this clan that resided on this unknown planet. Now so far, we've only seen one of the clan members being killed by Kylo Ren. Is that the same exact clan member that was holding the Skywalker lightsaber, or is it another individual? Because it goes over how the saber rolls down a hill and eventually lands into the hands of Maz Kanata, and Kylo Ren and his knights eventually start chasing her, and she takes off on one of their ships and leaves. So, with that being said, she's had this for ages, right? As she said, I've had this for ages. How long ago was this when Kylo Ren and his knights were hunting down, you know, the clan members for this ancient relic, you know, this 
lightsaber hilt that once belonged to Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker and the legend himself, Luke Skywalker, right? This is a very important piece for the actual galaxy itself. So they've been protecting it for a while, somehow, some way, Kylo Ren tracks them down and is able to actually find the Skywalker saber that he's been looking for for a very long time. And I think that the main purpose as to why Kylo Ren wants it is because it once belonged to his grandfather, Anakin slash Darth Vader. And with that being said, guys, I gotta say, I mean, this sounds like an amazing sequence and an amazing way to actually tell the full story of exactly how it fell into the hands of Maz Kanata. Now, exactly how it fell into the hands of the clan members, I don't know if they're going to explore that in episode 9. That's another big question open on the table for discussion. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We'll have to wait and see. This is just a partial piece of a flashback in episode 9. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.